everybody, it's Double R again, J Double R to be exact, and today we're going over a quick little notation of issue two. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the original issue list, which doesn't surprise me if you ever haven't, and I'm pretty sure some of you have, might have forgotten, so I'll go over it again. I say might have because some of you probably don't. You probably haven't forgotten. You probably know really well what these three issues are by now. But I'm going to go over the list real quick and then we're going to go over issue two. Issue one is people cannot leave well enough alone. As you can tell from the other videos I put on here, I have the original ones and I also have the quick ones over each issue. So, issue one people cannot leave well enough alone. The whole belief of Misery Loves Company and all that bullshit. Misery Loves Company, hypocrisy, which means in a nutshell, people cannot leave well enough alone, which is issue one. Issue two, people cannot read. You can have your whole life story out there for your character, and no one's going to know what the hell you are. No one's going to know what the hell you did, and no one's going to know what the hell you can do. Even if you have an ability list on there, people are still going to say you can't do that. What the fuck? You have it up there. There's a reason. But again... Issue two, people cannot read it. Issue three, crossing and metagame knowledge. This, to me, to me, issue three is the worst of these issues. Issue two, you can get by. Because not everyone is in combat and everything. And if they're too stupid to read, then you can just like bypass them and forget them. Which is fine. In issue one, you can kind of get by a little bit. Just because if they bother you, you can just tell them in character, shut the fuck up. Done. <laughs> but issue three is the biggest issue of them all. And the reason why I personally say it's the biggest issue is because crossing metagame knowledge, I've seen at least three people who cross so bad that they forget. They forget things between their character and them. They forget things. Oh, I told you that in character. No, you didn't, bitch. You said that out of character. That was two times ago. That was like a body ago. You had to remake your account. And you didn't say shit when you remade your account. And guess what? You didn't say shit when you remade your account. And thus, if you didn't say shit when you remade your account, that means by default, nothing in character has progressed at this point. And even you said it yourself that you didn't do certain things when you remade the account because of certain other things, whatever, and yada yada, and blah blah blah. So guess what, by your own volition, you stated that you had not said shit in character, thus forth, and henceforth, it didn't count. But you said everything out of character a couple screen names ago. But again, that's what makes issue 3 so dangerous, is because people will lose track of what they did in character and out of character. It's a sad but true fact. But issue two is fairly dangerous because people cannot read. P people cannot read. I'll give you an example of what I mean by people that cannot read. Just, just, just can't read. Just can't read. Like the example, I, like the intro. This is why I've been picking intros that are different and from movies and other TV, uh, other web shows and whatnot. I've been doing this for a reason. There's one intro that copies but it applies to both, so. I'm trying to do more unique intros to keep things interesting, but the intros themselves tell you what the issue is usually going to be over. Let's say, for instance, the, ish the, int the intro to this video. It was Spider-Man in the cage match. And he said he didn't sign up for this. It didn't matter. He didn't read the full fine print. 
the fine print probably says something around around the thing of three minutes of any match of Bone Saw's choosing. Well, when they made the cage, well, that's what he decided. Hey, I want to choose this. So you gotta read everything. You gotta read the fine print. But this shows that people cannot read. And I say this because when it comes to textual play, you know people know how to read. They can read the statuses. They can read what you do. But in the same regard, they also do the stupidest shit. Example: If you meet someone for the first time, if person A meets for person B for the first time. Person B will sit there and tell Person A their name. Hey, Person A, it's great to meet you. I'm Person B. But person A is going to be sitting there like this, just trying to figure it out. Like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know who you are now because you told me. How do you know who the fuck I am? I mean, in character wise, that's like the biggest thing that most people do. They fuck it up on the intro. They do. They just fuck it up. When you are introducing your character to the, the other person, if you're not Jean Grey, Charles Xavier, Emma Frost, or any other telepath that can pick up the brainwaves from the other person, you should not know what the fuck their name is. Okay, I gotta take that back a little bit because everybody on Facebook wants to play a type of god. So, go figure that one out. I want to be God. I'm God too. I'm God of this. I'm God of that. I'm God of yeah, 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 yeah. And then you got 501. I am the God of death. I am death itself. I am death incarnate. Wait a minute. How many deaths we got running around? I'm the horseman of death. But I didn't ask for a horseman death. I want to know where all these other gods of death came from. Because it's like 80 of y'all. There's 80 of you guys. There's like angels of death, which is another 502. But then again, you gotta look at the animes that people come uh, that people are grounding characters from. And yeah, when you look at the animes, it kind of adds up. I mean, seriously, you got Valkyrie, which is technically an angel of death, and that's from a video game. Then you got Castlevania, which has death, and he's flying around. Bleh. Then you got other games that have death, and they're bleh. so. I guess it adds up. And when the brother wants to be super e penis, huh, nothing beats death. No, nothing is supposed to beat death. Death is neutral. However, people forget death is neutral. Death is never. No matter what game you play and no matter what series you watch, death is neutral. It doesn't care if you're the good guy or the bad guy. Your hit points hit zero, you flatlined, guess what? You are dead. Just like the game ending that I had a little text come up here and said, you are dead. Which, of course, I had it clarified that I wasn't dead because I had hit points. That went a positive. But they said, you are dead. Death doesn't care if it's a good guy or a bad guy. Really. Death is neutral. It, it's like, uh, your hit points went to zero, you have a flat line, you are dead. Sucks to be you. But no, people will play death as a major evil badass. Granted, I'm not saying the villain Ted way is the right way of, death, of role playing as death. And even when you read some of the people, because I actually took some time, I read some of these profiles for death. And a lot of them come out to being evil. They come out being evil. Sorry, but that's what it translates to. Evil. You piss me off, I rip you apart. No, death is, you piss me off? Okay. And they'll leave you the fuck alone. Because they're neutral. But they will wait. Because when you die, guess what? Where other people sit there and go, Oh! You, I, you owe me a favor. No, 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 no. I'm death. I don't owe you shit. In fact, now that you're here, I get to have fun. But see, that's not how people play death. 
everyone role plays death as an evil supreme badass. And he's always angry and he's always evil. No, he's not an evil guy. Death is neutral. Sorry, he is. He's a neutral character. But again, it shows that people don't read. I sat there and I looked through the list and I go, okay. And I found out that death, that most of the people who role play death, death is evil. Death is a bad guy. So I accept that. I was like, okay, well, that's how to role play one. That's a bad guy. Now, again, it shows that people cannot read because you get people who role play angels who are completely evil. You get people who play demons who are completely good. But it's role play. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. But if you're going to be a completely good character, you should probably be an angel. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. Just put it out there. But when you sit there and you completely do things that should fuck up a character situation, like if you're a mix between vampire and werewolf, I'm a vampire werewolf half breed. Which most people know won't happen, but people will play this way anyway. So let's take this for example. Let's break them into four. They have angel, demon, vampire, and werewolf. They have these four, okay? This person's running around, and oh no, they meet somebody, and oh, they're getting it on, and of course they want to bite them. Arr! Well, this person's role playing as a traditional vampire, so of course you bite them, okay? And you're getting it, and you're still going, and the person has that. I mean, if the person's actually playing Lord, and they ask, hey, what are you? Well, I'm a werewolf vampire mix. Oh, I'm fucking dead. What? I, I, sorry, I'm dead. The werewolf part of the blood is going to kill me. By default. Well, that's not true. Uh, that's not it. Yes, that is. Most people try to look over this. But no. They just... People will glance over it depending on the situation. But that's the problem. People don't read. If they would have read this sooner, they would have been like, okay, I realize this. And then you can adapt at that point. But again, other issues get tied into this, and the issue of not reading becomes all void because issue one and issue three fuck this over. Well, if you were my friend, it wouldn't matter. I am not your friend. I don't care about you. I am not your buddy. I am not your pal. My character barely knows you. Or your character, I'm sorry. My character barely knows your character. We never talk out of character. To out of character. So, you are not exactly my friend. But... Okay. Let's just fix that right now. If I don't know you out of character, if I don't know you out of character, I'm going to tell you I don't know you out of character. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave you all to that. And hopefully after watching the three issues, when I got to issue three, I made sure it was just over crossing because I go over metagame stuff a lot. So there's no point in making the metagame one by itself. But hopefully I'll go through three issues and then you see, okay, that's where he's going on with this. So, this is issue two. People cannot read. And like the intro showed, you really need to read before you sign on the dotted line. This also goes with characters you roleplay with. If they're a werewolf and you're a vampire and they bite you, it doesn't matter out of character that you're best friends and all, you should put in the notes, A. My character's probably gonna die. I don't care how fun the sex was. I mean, you're not gonna see a Smurf trying to give a full body massage rub to Gargamel. I'm just putting it out there. I mean, there's probably some people who are really crazy. Hmm, maybe those guys that have that gigantic, gigantic person complex might think about doing that. Probably it's too late to say that because they've already done it. <sighs> Whatever. Case or Ross Raw. I'm going to leave y'all with that. So.
<laughs> Bye. I think I just scared myself. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.